Hi everyone, it's Bonnie here, and I have another uh, fabric collage journal that I am selling, and this is my newest one. This is created using um, Vintage Girls, and they are all um, printed on fabric paper, so th these are all fabric. And all of the laces and trims and fabrics are all um, vintage. The um, probably the only thing that isn't is the seam binding, and I just hand dyed it um, to make it look kind of vintage. Um, and this clothespin is not, but I kind of just dressed that up to also make it um, look vintage. So, uh, this is the first page, and I did a, a little ro rolled rose here, and added a bow here, and did two layers of seam binding, and then um, a layer of this tattered um, fabric here. And this is a, a piece of doily, and I have random buttons all over and here's more of that seam binding and this flower is just a couple of layers of doilies and I have a button in the center and I have some um, beautiful lace trim around the clothespin and then I just tied it with a little piece of string and put another teeny tiny little doily there. This is the binding here. I have no idea what that is off of, but I thought it was really cool. And so you open it up, and here is the first page. Isn't she beautiful? I just love her big hat. It reminds me of the old Easter, the Easter hats that, um, the little girls wore in the olden days and I have this gorgeous gorgeous doily here isn't that amazing and I have pieces of trim here some crocheted and then this really thin delicate um, it's like a cream colored then I made a bow here this I have no idea it was just a remnant of something and I have this beautiful trim here and this one under here. Isn't that amazing? The color in that is just amazing. And then up here I just made another um, flower using um, doilies and pieces of lace. And this here is when you rip um, the fabric you get all these little stringy things. So I just put it into a ball and put it there. And here's some more um, pieces of doilies. And I have this little cute thing here. And I have this here. And you just flop it over. And here's the next page. And isn't this amazing? I've had this forever, but I couldn't part with it. And I finally used it on this book. And I have this trim here with this thin um, ribbon here, which I don't think is vintage. Um, I have this beautiful crochet doily here and pieces of crocheted, I, I think it's like old runner or something. And I made another rolled rose there and some more seam binding, some vintage buttons in this um, piece of lace here. It's so, so beautiful. Um, I just love that. So this is the next page and again a gorgeous image and she's sewn right onto fabric and here is more of this beautiful trim here. Oops. And then I have this piece here which is amazing. These are just so amazing. More vintage laces here, and this one here. It's really, really, really beautiful. Okay, so that's that page. 
And then I have this vintage runner here that I just sewed in the middle, down the spine of it. Okay, so that is really beautiful. And then this page here, um, I took this, I mean, this is like really, really tattered. So I didn't really want to um, tell it's like even coming apart here. So I just um, adhered it around and framed her, added another rolled rose here, and tons of layers of beautiful um, lace trims and pieces of doily and more vintage buttons. Um, unfortunately, these didn't have um, the... I like it when they have the um, thread in it, and these didn't. And here's another one of those. Um, it's like a nesting thing. And again, there's just more layers of um, beautiful lace, lace trims. So that's what that page looks like. And we got this one here. Another beautiful image. And this is... Um, like the side uh, corner of a runner and I just used it to frame her and here's another beautiful stunning doily here and this it, to me it looks like gauze um, but it's sewn through like it's edging of something but I just put it you know into a bow and put that there and here's more uh, crocheted um, I don't know what it is. It's just a remnant of something in this, and then this piece here. I just love it. Okay, and then there's this piece here that I put on the back of these little, these little doilies here, and some more vintage lace. So delicate and beautiful. And then here's the other side to this. And this, this is the last page. And here's another side um, to a runner. And I also use that to um, frame her. And then I just put another strip there for the other side of her. And here's another gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous doily here. And I think this piece is off a wedding trim. So I'm certain that that is not vintage. Okay, but all of these buttons are, and I just put this adorable little trim here. It's got little tiny hearts on it, and then I just put um, layers of little crochet doilies here, and a vintage button. See, that has the the um, the thread in it. I love when it still has the the thread in it. So that's that page, and. And then this is just the, the back cover. Um, I added this delicate little lace trim here. And this beautiful, um, I don't know, it's kind of a thicker, a thicker piece. It's really beautiful. Um, it's very beautiful. I, I uh, had a hard time cutting that up too. And then I have these cute little doilies in the center. So that is my um, newest fabric album that I have for sale and it's $85 plus shipping and um, if you're interested in purchasing this piece um, just PM me and um, and leave me a, or leave me a message. Okay, thanks a lot everybody for watching and have a great